So plenty to get through, but let's start with a little view of the action from the French Rally Championship, Rally de Limousin. This is the fourth round of the All Tarmac All Action French Rally Championship held over two days, 12 stages around the mid-French, uh, mid-France town of Limousin. Two laps of three stages on day one and fastest in the morning is Philippe Bugalski, the number one machine, the works Citroen Zara kit car. Took the first two stage fastest times to kick off his rally in the lead. Second, Patrick Magot, his teammate in the two string works Zara. 3.7 seconds behind the leader after taking quickest time on stage three. Third is the championship leader, despite all the works entries, Simon Jean-Joseph in the number two Subaru. But suspension problems on the Subaru, and he ran out of road on stage two on the morning. We finish a minute and seven behind the leader with a lot of work to do. He's battling for third place with Marc Champeau, the number three Renault Megane. He's only three seconds behind Jean-Joseph Subaru after the morning stages. And also threatening is number 11, the Peugeot 306 Maxi of Pascal Anjolra. Just one second behind the Renault. Classic tight French tarmac action. But a sprinkling of rain in the afternoon stages. Anjolra losing a lot of time to the leaders and particularly to the third place battle not enough to endanger his fifth place but he'll end the day more than three minutes behind the leader sixth place man Eric Rousset closing in fact within 20 seconds of the Peugeot Jean Joseph you would expect to do better in the wet conditions courtesy of his four-wheel drive but in fact he slid from third to fourth despite the wet conditions and despite fixing his early suspension problems He's got a battle on his hands. A minute and 35 behind the leading Citroen, Marc Champeau in third place after his blistering time through the first stage of the afternoon. And as condition dried, he was able to go quicker and hold on to that spot. After winning the last stage in the morning, Mago in the second string, Persia, Citroen rather, took the first stage of the afternoon, but then Bogowski fought back, winning the fifth and sixth stages of the day to hold on to his lead. Mago remaining in a very confident form though, and he's only 4.9 seconds behind his teammate, Citroen's team leader, Philippe Bogowski. Well, riding with Bogowski. And this is the sort of onboard action to raise the hackles on the back of your neck. Just the speed around these tiny French lanes through the villages between the stone walls and the trees. So impressive. It's hard to imagine any single seater racing car going quicker than these top spec Formula 2 style French rally championship machines do. The Citroen Zara, not only the prettiest, but clearly the quickest of the current genre of Formula 2 kit cars. Jean-Paul Charioni, uh, Philippe Bogowski's co-driver there, rattling off the notes almost as quick as Carlos Sainz's co-driver Louis Moya. Bogowski happy with his day, he says. I won four out of the six stages. Poor tyre choice in the other two let me down a little, but the car felt great and the team have uh, really made it work well for me. So on to the morning stages of day two. Bogowski really concentrating on tyre choice before he even gets onto the stage. And that may have turned the event in his favour. Perfect choice for all of the first three stages. And he blitzes through them fastest on all three because teammate Margot makes a poor choice. And he drops 
40 seconds away from Filip Bogowski. As you can see, threatening skies. And the morning marked more by Marc Champeau's retirement than by any weather problems. He went out on third stage of the morning, breaking suspension arm and finishing his event as he went off into a ditch. Good news for Simon Jean Joseph then, who took back third overall. Have a look from on board the Subaru. 50 meters. Attention, gauche 85. And that flat four Subaru barking away, but all you can hear is the transmission noise inside. Makes it all seem an awful lot slower than it really is. Sur gauche à fond moyen. Pour droite à fond. 50 mètres. Gauche à fond ciel. Sur droite à fond panneau. Referme 90 stars au point rouge. Oh, fantastic stuff on board. This is Eddie Mercier, the number eight Lancer Evolution 4 Group N winner. 11th overall, no change among the top four positions. The battle's being fought out down the field. Fifth place for Onjora. Sebastian Onjora, his older brother, his younger brother, I beg your pardon, in single-seater racing. Five minutes and 37 seconds down on the leader, though, for Peugeot. Work still to be done. He's the promotion class winner. And using the 306 Maxi in the wet for the first time. Fourth is Benoit Rousselot, that was him in the number 14 McGann, 4 minutes 38 behind the winner. Jean-Joseph taking third place, 3 minutes and 22 seconds behind the winner, despite the afternoon rain again, not able to use the four-wheel drive of the Subaru to his advantage. But it's enough for Jean-Joseph to retain the championship lead. In the final stages, Magot couldn't afford to take any risks. This is his first ever top two placing. And the first ever 1-2 for Citroën on a French championship event. A very important milestone for them. And Magot therefore taking no chances, trying to chase that 40 second deficit to Bogowski. So Magot fails to secure victory. But Citroën, more importantly, take first and second. Championship still led by Jean-Joseph. Bigowski winning eight out of...